I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there from the start. I stand with Georgia. But I also want to point out the fact that I'm doing this video not to put pick sides or to be biased and be like, oh, I fuck with Georgia more than Russia, or I fuck with Russia more than Georgia. No, I fuck with my fans equally. This video is like more directed towards the government of both countries. Now is uh, a massive Russian military machine. Thousands of Russian troops and uh, a great deal of military hardware is now firmly in control of South Ossetia. The government needs to get checked. That's really what the problem is. channel I got now video man hey look king of this man hey I can let, 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 let me let me let me tone it down a little bit before we get too lit because as you guys can tell from the title of the video this is not a rap reaction it's actually political I don't know what I'm why I'm okay actually I know why I'm doing this but I'm not really the kind of person to really be talking about politics I don't make videos about politics I mean when I talk about politics my friends it's, it's, it's usually all about Trump like and sometimes about what's going on in Nigeria and shit but really politics is not my go-to topic but lately my comment sections have been going crazy it's this is, this is literally the phrase everybody puts. I'm from Georgia and 20% of my country is occupied by Russia. Oh, and Russia is an occupant. I'm like, whoa, I started seeing that like last week or two weeks ago. And I was like, huh, this is like a mistake or something. And I went on and did my research and I seen like a couple articles, watched a couple videos about what is really going on. So I figured I might as well share my opinion or like talk about what I think about the whole thing in a whole video and just... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there from the start. I stand with Georgia. Uh, from what I've seen, from stories I've heard, it's obvious that Russia is invading Georgia, and it's some shit that's actually been going on for a couple years now. But I also want to point out the fact that I'm doing this video not to put pick sides or to be biased and be like, oh, I fuck with Georgia more than Russia, or I fuck with Russia more than Georgia. No, I fuck with my fans equally. This video is like more directed towards the government of both countries. Like, it's the government that is to blame, not the people, really. You know what I'm saying? The people don't really, especially people that support me or my fans, are like, you really young people and a lot of y'all don't even vote yet i'm pretty sure and like these things are definitely affecting you guys in ways and you guys are coming to my in the comments i don't say my comments it's also your comments and you guys are saying things to like judging subscribers or like judging subscribers saying things on the russian videos like you know i'm making this video so we can stop that like this this my, this channel is not for that now you know we're a family out here we're here to like bring cultures together that's why i started doing international rap so we can bring different cultures together and obviously judging and russia are not new to each other we've been at this for over 10 years now at least this is 10 years this year or 10 years last year but i got a couple videos that i wanted to watch with you that i haven't seen yet this is like this one is about a video that uh a video this video is about the war that started 10 years ago in 2008 this video was in 2008 i figured i might as well watch it with y'all and i have two videos about the war currently going on in georgia in 2019 like what is going on like the protest going on in front of the parliament building and it's so sad man it said 240 people were injured in this article and this was when was this article released june 22nd it says at least 240 people were injured and many hit by rubber bullets i had two people lost their eyes it's crazy man I, look i'm not a violent person i don't like violence and <sighs> This shit, shit like this hurt my feelings, hurt my soul, and I actually, like, hope there can be a stop to it. And also, the whole idea of a Russian person being voted into the Georgian government doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but hey, who am I to talk? I'm just here to entertain. I don't want to say nothing that God forbid gonna get me shot one day. But look, let's go. We're gonna go ahead and watch these videos, and we're just gonna, like, you know, just give our own two cents about the whole situation. And hopefully, if you watch this video, if you're a Georgian subscriber or a Russian subscriber, you guys can actually use this as a starting point to create peace for when you get older and when you get to that level where you can vote and you can realize and understand things that are really going on in your both your countries and you know like try to create come up come 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 to a common ground like nobody's gonna be happy no country in the world is gonna be happy with another country invading their their, their own country and like taking two whole towns or two whole states like you know that doesn't make a lot of sense to me it's crazy how that shit's going on everybody knows putin is a bully like that's not a new news vladimir putin is a big bully and hey that's just what this video. If you guys got time, go read this article by the New York Times. It says Georgia State's protest war in its relations with Russia and in tailspin. It's a very good article to read and to get a bigger insight about what's really going on. But let's go ahead and jump straight to the video and see what this granddad is talking about. <laughs> Right. Now to the fighting between Russia and Georgia over the Georgian breakaway region of South Ossetia. President Bush has told Russia... Oh, by the way, I put the speed to 1.5 times faster so we don't waste time watching the video. Leaders right. ...that military action against Georgia is in the region of South Ossetia. President Bush has told Russian leaders that military action against Georgia is unacceptable. Vice President Facts. Cheney said Russia's invasion must not go unanswered. 
Oh. Alex Ross America loves war. Soviet That's one thing America is good for. They like fighting. You're in Gori near right. the border with South Ossetia. What is the situation there now? Well, there are a few people still here in Gori, but most of the people have already left, fleeing the fighting. There are some Damn. very, very frightened people here. And, as and this was 2008. Oof. Oh, I don't know why CNN is not talking about this. I don't know why it's like Fox News is not talking about it because this is some shit I feel like if it was going on, if it was something going on between like America and Canada or America and Mexico and Mexico, like this shit would be all over the news. This is some shit that people need to know about for it because it's crazy. This is 2008. Hey, this is like millennial elderly, times. Right. Now, this city, we're told uh, by residents, took another hit this morning. Uh, over there, there's a military installation. Now, that was whacked again by Russian fighter jets. Damn. Of course, the bomb blast again uh, went into civilian areas and we're told that there were a number of casualties. But we this is 2008. Hey, bro, look at how, uh, this morning is that Dmitry Medvedev, the Russian president, says that Russia has nearly completed its military targets. And as best as you've been able to determine, are the Georgian forces staying to fight or are they fleeing? Now, I think the Georgian uh, forces have pretty much withdrawn out of South Ossetia. They're certainly out of Skinbali, the regional capital. Uh, they are withdrawn. They are about two kilometers from where I am. There are tank positions, artillery fairly well dug in, but they're certainly not advancing forwards to what now is uh, a massive Russian military machine. Thousands of Russian troops and uh, a great deal of military hardware is now firmly in control of South Ossetia. And I suppose it's now going to be very difficult for President Mikhail Saakashvili to ever get that territory back. Mm. Vladimir Putin himself, the Russian uh, prime minister, has said that he thinks South Ossetia will never be reintegrated into Georgia. Alex Rossi of Sky News. That's Thank sad. You so that is sad. And joining us is Michael O'Hanlon, a senior fellow on, for on foreign policy at the Brookings Institution. Michael, good to see you. Hi, guys. So interesting. This section of Georgia butts up against Russia, primarily ethnically Russian, sort of not really ever really part of Georgia, but kind of a, almost a netherworld. Uh, Shakasvili takes over the country a couple of years ago and says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this country together and bring these Ossetians into the fold in Georgia. They take military action against the rebels there a couple of days ago, and then what happens? Well, Harry, you're right about all that context. That's in addition, of course, oh Russia sees God. this opportunity as sort of so similar to what we did with Kosovo. As you remember, mm -hmm. Kosovo is a place where the Western world went in and defended a population that was being oppressed by Serbs who were good Russian friends. And then this year, we essentially tolerated or condoned the idea of Kosovo declaring independence. Mm -hmm. And this is the last straw for Russia in terms of seeing NATO come eastward. I think they also are tired of the talk of Georgia joining NATO, right. which is the next intended step in the alliance. And basically, Putin said, this is an opportunity for me to reassert Russia, mm -hmm. to control these two enclaves, and probably to ultimately split them off from Georgia. The worry now, as you know, is that he may go even beyond that. And there's talk of whether Russia wants to make sure that the Georgian president is pushed out of office or otherwise fundamentally uh, altered in his foreign policy. Because there's been bombing in Georgia itself, in Gori, in, outside of Tbilisi. Someone also told me that the, the Georgian president doesn't say much. Like, he's just very quiet about the whole situation. In my opinion, that's not good. That's not a good look. Like, you can't be quiet about situations like that going on in your country. Well, hey, once again, who am I? I'm just an entertainer. I don't know much about politics. But I just want to tell you guys, if you're going to vote, Hey, man, vote that man out of power if you don't think he's doing the right thing for the country. Now, uh, Georgia right. has as many as 2,000 yeah. soldiers on duty in Iraq right now, being a very good friend to the United States. Some of those jo Georgian soldiers, as they were being driven out of South Ossetia over the last couple of days, were saying, where is the United States? Right. Well, you know, Harry, military intervention here is, is unthinkable. Russia is a nuclear weapon state. They're very close to this region. Of course, we're very far away. Georgia is not now a member of NATO, so any talk of a formal security guarantee is not there anyway. It's going to be very interesting to see how hard we push to back up Vice President Cheney's words that this will not go unanswered, because I believe it will go unanswered militarily. But we still have a lot of economic and diplomatic steps. That's crazy. Perhaps, so America is just not going to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Or even now, there's some talk of boycotting the Olympics in Russia in, in, uh, in a few years' time, right. uh, and announcing that right now. So there are a number of things. Mm -hmm. Economic sanctions are very tough because Europe depends so much on Russian Oil, gas. Yes. But we'll, we'll see what all right, Michael Hanlon, as always, a pleasure. Thank you very, very much. Oof, that's crazy. And that was 2008. So basically, this fire has been going on for a long time. But the fight that's going on right now is basically about the whole Russian person being indicted into the Georgian government. And people, students, and what, what this article said is mostly students and oppositions that have been protesting. Yeah, Georgia's parliament, organized by opposition activists and students, began Thursday when a large crowd of massively young people angry at the Russian legislature, legis legislature has been allowed to speak inside the building. Crazy, in my opinion, that is crazy. It should not be happening. Hey, nobody should come at me. That's the government. I wish I could sit the whole parliament down and tell them, like, hey, yo, y'all niggas need to get your shit together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, but once again, who the fuck am I? Just an entertainer. Nobody should come shoot me. But let's see what this anti Russia protesters met with tear gas, woof, tear gas, rubber bullets, and water cannon in Georgia. And there's another one on anti Russian protest in T Tbilisi. Yeah, let, let's see what let's see what they're talking about real quick. And we're gonna end this video and we're gonna jump straight to the rap reactions. And hey, I wish you guys best of luck. You guys should stay safe if you're out there protesting, don't get hurt, and just. 
just keep your heads up you know what i'm saying good things everything happens for i'm a very very optimistic person i believe everything happens for a reason so whatever is going on right now hopefully by god's grace with everything going in in the right order and right form she's gonna get right for georgia like that. you're gonna get your 20 percent back you know what i'm saying just keep pushing, keep hustling, you know what I'm saying? That's just the, that's that's my two cents right now. Like but hey, we we not to blame. We the the viewers, the subscribers, the citizens really not to blame is the government. The government need to get checked. That's really what the problem is. In my opinion. Damn, there's a lot of people. I like that. Damn. Look at this look at this nigga so vile. this nigga right here is so violent. This one, he need to get smacked. He he need he in the y'all so hard, that's crazy. Crazy. Was prepared to speak from the speaker's seat. That's crazy that Russia is an occupier. That's I've been seeing a lot of that in my comments too. Russia is an occupier. Damn man, they fighting back. I like that. They fighting back. They fighting back. But ew. Let's see what the next video is talking about. I've, seen, I've watched this video already. Judges revolution. That's a pretty interesting video. But let's see anti Russia protests in Tbilisi. June 20th. After visiting Russian research speech. Amen. Around 240 people were injured. Crazy. Damn. Purchasing blame Russia's fifth column for the protest. Russia is our enemy and occupier. Is she the president? Is this the president of the country? Is it a female? Damn, he resigned? Hey man. If that's the right thing, like shit, I hope the I hope the protest is actually done right now. Let's see who's judge's president. That's her. She's a female. But hey man, she needs to talk. She needs to be active with it, man. She's right though. That's that's an occupying. I don't know the English to use, but yeah, Russia is definitely occupying. But like the the dude from the first video said, the, the town was never really owned by Russia or Georgia. It was like a just is is like an intersection between both countries, and it's like if they can come to a conclusion where both countries can actually split those the like the I don't know why they're really fighting for it. If it's because they have like natural resources or there's like homes or there's like good living there, if they can split that the economy kind of in in a way that both countries is benefiting from the deal, like, that would be. A good that would be a good way to go and at least it would be a good way to stop this war and the protest that's been going on for years now but hey like i said what the fuck am i i'm just an entertainer giving you all my two cents because a lot of y'all have been leaving this in my comments and i don't i don't like to leave my comments unanswered like i don't want you guys to feel like i don't see them i see them but i just had to think for a very long time on how to make this video because i don't want to offend nobody i don't want to offend the russians and i don't want to offend the judges but definitely i stand with judge i feel like the protest is for a good cause and that's the kind of shit i support like i'm not with the violence but sometimes violence is needed and that's very 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 blunt but true like if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and be a good subscriber if you already subscribed and like the video if you're not go ahead and join the gang subscribe and like the video <laughs> i love you guys so much stay blessed you guys know where to be subscriber today this is a very very weird outro because this video is just is not i don't know I, I, it's, it's a very sad video but we already know the drill love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video all right you got two blunts coming for us with some good music i have to wait on that all right.